I'm going to be showing this tutorial inside of a virtual machine, but it shouldn't make too much of a difference. So I'll just get rid of the stuff up at the top and at the bottom, unless I need to show something. Hello everybody, this is Drew Nailer, and today I'm going to show you how to get rid of these ugly, unsightful, dashed lines Blech. in GTK3 um, themes and in desktop environments such as Cinnamon. In here in System Info, I'm using Linux Mint 18.3 Cinnamon 64-bit. Now this may differ for you. I have not installed updates um, on here for quite a while. If we go under the updates, I'm at 5.3.2.3. So I'm 0.0.0.2 updates behind. So just to give you an idea of how far behind I am, but I assume that this will work for most GNOME 3 based desktop environments. Because I come from Windows where there aren't lines on the, well, this is just a, a thing Microsoft put there that's always at the top. Even if you scroll back to the top and down here, that's just the top of the status bar. There are, if you notice, there are no dashed lines, which makes it look a lot cleaner. And even on KDE, KDE 5, does, as far as I know, it doesn't have those lines at the bottom. Um, today I'm going to show you how to get rid of those lines and it involves modifying your theme but don't worry you can actually back it up. I've set the theme to the default to all of the defaults for the um, for Linux Mint uh, cinnamon so that you're not and I assume that this background is the default as well um, I, at least I think it is the default so that nobody gets confu confused about it so for this one, your file system, and you go to user, uh, share, and then themes, somewhere in here. There are a lot of folders, themes right here. You want to double click on that. You can take probably any theme. For this video, I'm going to be taking Mint Y. You want to do copy, and then you want to go into your home directory. You want to go into your home directory. now. You'll need to go into a hidden folder. By default, your files are hidden, or hi hidden files are not shown. So this is what it might look like for you. I installed Play on Linux. I was trying to install Adobe uh, Creative Cloud inside of here with a script that somebody made just to see if it would work. Um, but you want to go to View and click Show Hidden Files or press Control H on your keyboard. Um, now you'll want to go into dot themes. You might need to make this folder. I don't know. This folder's um where other themes that you install from the um add and remove themes settings in um the cinnamon themes or cinnamon configure cinnamon settings application. You want to paste the folder in here, and then. I recommend changing the name to something like Mint Y, no dashed lines and scroll area. So when we go back into themes, we'll see that we have right here. It's exactly the same. Doesn't change anything. Now I'll switch that back to Mint Y so that nobody's confused. Actually the not the window borders that we need. It's the um the controls that we're gonna be changing. So we want to go into here, and we'll want to go into GTK-3.0, and then double click GTK.CSS or right click open with text editor. So now that we're in a text editor, we'll want to do control F, which is find, and we'll want to do undershoot. We'll want to type in undershoot. So the way that I figured out, and you can see here there's the lines at the bottom the right and the top and if we scroll over we see them at the left if I scroll far enough they no, they don't show up but anyway so you want to do background image I'm going to change these to transparent and then you want to copy this
Yep. And then paste it on each of the lines for a background image. Now we save. And then you go back into themes. And then select this. And it should. Yeah, I think it worked. There we go. No more awful lines. Well, that still shows up. But let's close that. And then reopen it. There we go. Not that it matters that I reopen the same file, but it's just to show how it doesn't show up anymore, which is really nice. And yeah, I just really don't like it having those lines showing up just because they're so, to somebody like me, they're just so obvious and take away from trying to use the software. Um, because they're kind of just always there. Now I understand that they are actually for the GTK3 overlay scroll bars and I see, I can see how they're, how those lines would be useful but with the mint Y theme there's a scroll bar here so you don't need those lines and it just getting rid of it makes it look so much nicer makes it look so much nicer and uh, I just don't like having it there so I guess I can pull up the system settings again move it over here move this over here and change controls change it back to the default mint Y and that those lines show back up um, now if you watch you can watch up here I think it's easier to see up there if I change back to the one that we used it's gone now it looks a lot cleaner if you have any questions about this or want to suggest topics for a future video please let me know in the comments below and I'll try to get to your questions and answer them as I understand them or if I need to do research I'll try to do some research or if you want me to make another video about this I will like if there's something that you are curious about I'll I'll do it if you want me to and if I feel like making a video on the topic if you have any more questions about this topic or if I missed something please let me know in the comments below if you have a suggestion for more uh, Linux related videos I could work on those as well or if you have any other video ideas in general I would like to hear them so please let me know goodbye for now